Hi, good to see you. Welcome back to uh, our show. Tonight we're going to make a tasty dish that uses old stale bread. Um, the drier the better, in fact. Um, it's a good way to get rid of your old stale bread. And the other ingredients are stuff that I'm sure that you have laying around your kitchen and in your fridge. Uh, something that uh, everybody in your family, I'm sure, will enjoy. It's a, it's a dessert that uh, well, could be used as a dessert, or if you're me, you could even use it for breakfast. Um, but anyway, it's a really uh, tasty bread pudding, and I think it's going to be good enough that you're going to want a spoon that's bigger than... The Soup Spoon! said before we're gonna make bread pudding and we just need a few simple things we need a bunch of old dead you know uh, uh, bread dried up bread stuff that's uh, not moldy of course but uh, it's gonna be see how crusty that is and, uh, you know, just any old uh, pieces of bread that you got laying around you want to let them uh, dry out a little bit so that they are um, kind of stale. Here's an old loaf. Oh, that's sourdough. I don't know if I'd use sourdough, but um, you know, let me just leave that out. But we've got a bunch of old white bread and some bagels. I've got some old raisin cinnamon bagels. Those will be good because they have raisins in them. And the recipe really calls for raisins, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to use these old um, cinnamon raisin bagels. And here's a pro tip. These bread ties make really nice guitar picks. Just something to think about there. So I saved them for that. So what you need is, depending on how many people you're going to feed, I'm going to feed about seven so I'm gonna make two casserole dishes you need some casser a casserole dish I've got one here already um, filled with uh, a torn up bread I'm gonna take another one this casserole dish you want to make sure that you've uh, sprayed the bottom or rubbed it with butter real good so that things don't stick and then you want to fill it with uh, old old bread I just chop it up. I've already checked this stuff. It's old, but it's not moldy yet, so I'm just gonna fill up this casserole dish with my old bread. So let's see here. Oh, I've got a this old baguette French bread thing. This is like perfect. Ah, in fact, it's so perfect that it's kind of hard to work with. But it'll soak up our other stuff. We're gonna uh, we're gonna be using um, eggs and milk and other stuff in the recipe here. I've even got some old hot dog buns over here. Take a couple of those. No mold, so put them in there. They're not as crunchy as the other bread, but that's all right. You know, all these different textures will be good. Got some more cinnamon and raisin in there. So let's see here. You want it in little bite-sized pieces, because what we're going to do now that I've kind of got my two casseroles. Dishes. Uh, I've got a butt piece over here that we call. I'm going to put that in here, this one. I, think I might add another bagel to this one. Looks like it could use a little more bread. I want there to be extra. Extra. Alrighty. 
All right, so we've got the bread put in our buttered uh, casserole dishes, baking dishes. So I'm going to move that out of the road for a sec. And in another mixing bowl, I'm going to mix up my other ingredients, uh, or some of my other ingredients. I'm going to mix up, I'm going to, I've got here eight eggs because of how much I'm making. But really, you know, you probably want to just, uh, if you're going to make one casserole dish, just half this, you know, so four eggs. But I've got eight eggs. And to that, I'm going to, uh, just set that over there, I guess. Yeah. To that, I'm going to add uh, four cups of milk. So you'd probably just add two. some milk and I'm also going to add two cups of sugar so you'd probably only add one cup of sugar I'm going to kind of mix that up a bit so the eggs um, are going to allow this pudding to get set up in the oven they'll, they'll cook and set things up I'm also going to add to this. Uh, I'm going to add to this. I've got um, two teaspoons of cinnamon. So I'm going to add the cinnamon, and uh, I also need some vanilla. I need a couple. Of, so you'll just need one uh, teaspoon of cinnamon. Uh, you need uh, however much vanilla you think you might want. Vanilla makes everything good, so I'm going to add. I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. That'll probably work. That out of the room there. I'm going to mix all that up. I've got out a whisk, but I hate using whisks. I just don't like them. Maybe what I need to do though here. all incorporated. Probably should use my whisk, I guess. And a little. Maybe I should just say use a whisk. We're going to mix up this real good. Pretty good anyway. Well, cinnamon never hurt anybody. Unless you take that cinnamon challenge, which I hope that you won't. I think that'll work. All right, now what we want to do, we've got the mixture with the milk and the eggs and the sugar. Um, what else was in there? Cinnamon and vanilla. And now we've also got over here, this is pretty easy. Don't blink much or you're going to miss it. I've got six tablespoons of butter, so you'd probably use two or three. I'm just going to kind of drizzle that over this bread. You know, and plus there's some butter in the bottom of the pan. Save some for this one. Alrighty. Drizzle that butter over the bread here. It'll help things not stick. And of course butter. Well, that's going to make it taste real good. I've got a hunk of butter there. I think I'll just drop that on there. And I think the, the leftover stick of butter that I used to butter the bottom of the pan, I think I'll just go ahead and drop that in there too. What the heck. Now when I say a little bit of butter never hurt anybody, I guess a little bit never did, but a whole bunch isn't good for you, but as you can tell care about that. Alrighty. Now, over our stale bread that's been drizzled with butter, I'm going to go ahead and pour our uh, sweet egg milk mixture here. I don't know. There's probably a better way to add cinnamon to this. I probably should have sprinkled it on the top. It's not mixing real well with the milk. Oh, I know what I should have done. 
may I suggest that you add the cinnamon to the sugar and get that all mixed up and then make pour it in. Yeah, I think that probably would have worked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this over here. I want that bread to soak up this stuff. I want some in this one too. So I better let that get some in here. So this is a real simple recipe. As you can see, it's not not a big deal to to put together. Pyrex out here. Now another thing that I want to add that always adds to our recipe to a sweet one like this is some nutmeg. So I'm going to kind of sprinkle some nutmeg on the top too. Let's get that all mashed down in there. some of that crunchy bread crunching and that'll soak that up and oh my what a good use of our of our leftover bread you know and of course they have this bread at bread pudding at country buffet that I always love to eat when we go there not that I'm plugging country buffet <laughs> alrighty now I've got my oven over there preheating to 350 it's already heated up. So our bread is kind of soaking up this good stuff. Crunch, crunch. Well, I could have a lot more bread I could have used. Old bagels and hot dog buns baguettes and stuff. Oh man, I love bread pudding. Alright, so once you got that kind of all mixed up and um, soaked up, like I said, that egg is going to help this to set up like a pudding. The butter will, and the milk will make it nice and rich. You could use uh, you know, water instead of milk. I've seen recipes for bread pudding that only call for water and a little bit of wine, you know, and some nutmeg um, and some butter to, to make it. But I think this recipe is going to turn out just really good. All right, so once you got that kind of mixed up, we're going to put this in a 350 oven for about 45 minutes. About 45 minutes. Oh, I didn't sprinkle my nutmeg. Hold on. That's one of the most important things, I think. Mmm. Nutmeg. Nutmeg smells like the holidays, don't you think? I think it does. So, alright. So I'm going to go put these in the oven and let them cook up for about 45 minutes at 350. And then we'll test this recipe out. All right. Well, our timer has gone off, so let's check to see if it's done. I'm going to pull out a little. Oh, look at that. Mm, it smells good, too. What you want to do is get a fork and kind of check to see if it's bouncy or springy. And it looks like it is kind of use your fork to push down on it and so it, it looks like that's done to perfection actually so we'll have crunchy bread on top and the eggs have uh, set up real nice yeah this is going to be all right all right so I'm going to go ahead and take these out and I'll be right back with you 
Well, here it is. It's been out of the oven for just a few minutes. It's actually too hot to eat, but it smells so good and looks so good. I don't know that I can wait a whole lot longer. So I'm going to try a little bit and give some taste to the kids and see how they like it. Hmm, which one should I try, guys? This one? Okay. I think I should try the short one. It's going to be like a pudding. Ouch! Crud. Yeah, I think butter in those two. Oh, it looks like a cinnamon roll. Look at that. Huh. I have never thought of that, but it's kind of like a cinnamon roll. Not like the beautiful cinnamon rolls that my daughter makes, but cheap version, I guess. Look at that. That looks all right, doesn't it? Well, all right, so we'll be right back and we'll give it a try in just a minute. Okay, well, here we go. We're going to try it. And as long as uh, Jasper doesn't come in to take it from me, I'll be all right. Mm, it smells really good. They've got crunchy, we got soft, pudding like. Oh, it's hot. stuff. Either one of you guys want to come and show and take a taste? Give us your opinion. Want to get on camera? Mm, I'm okay with not doing that. Here's my daughter Jenna Marie. Jack, you want to try some? Mm. I just like cinnamon roll. It is, isn't it? Mm. I like that. I think yeah. I'll probably be eating the rest of it. Mm. That's well worth making, I'd say. Yeah. So, we've got a really quick and easy recipe of uh, bread pudding that I think you could make for your family. Impress them, they'll think you spent hours in prep time when it didn't take hardly any time at all. So, um, I hope that you'll give this a shot. And uh, let your bread neck show a little bit as well. So uh, enjoy it and have a good day. Thank you. The Soup Spoon!